Both are 18 and 9. Both have won three straight. It's the Pacers and the Utah Jazz on Fox Sports. In the backcourt with Corey Joseph, Turner Young, and Bogdanovich. 28. Um, to be able to, to put themselves in position after losing to All Stars. Uh, you're talking top, you know, 24, 25 players in the league losing those guys and still be able to have themselves in that position. I think they've both done exceptionally well. Derek Favors did not play the other night against Orlando. He was out with neck spasms. Oladipo, free throw line, jumper, perfect. Very good screen. See, they've got Ingles right now guarding Victor. Ingles is about 6'7". You know, Victor's only about 6'4". Again. Pacers won back-to-back -back games on Sunday and Monday. Pocket pass on the bounce, and Turner delivers. Donovan Mitchell. Well, understand his growth. He makes that play that he couldn't make two years ago to play through contact. Donovan Mitchell, two years at Louisville, and hits another jumper He's with the offensive rebound, but he threw it away. Wow, that's what you don't see very often. If you know you're going to fall, try to get there and keep going, roll it over so you don't fall flat because that's how you get hurt. Ingles in the corner for three. They beat the field of Australia, signed a contract in the offseason to stay in Utah, was trying to keep his teammate Gordon Hayward there, and he is so long. Got a good one in Thad. Joseph Short again. Jay Crowder is in. He came over in that multifaceted deal that blew up the Cleveland Cavaliers as Ingles hits another three. He's on the floor now for the Jazz. Ball in the hands of Donovan Mitchell, the rookie out of Louisville. Plenty of red in the building tonight to watch him and a long three. Chris Paul told him that he needed to come out of school. Dwayne Wade had seen him twice, and they both told him he needed to consider coming out of school. And they Average 16 points last year at Louisville and pulls up again. And Donovan Mitchell has 10 back in the Midwest. But one of the challenges that the Patriots have is drives. Ball's loose. Wow. Abu Neto is in, and that is Favors. That's why I said wow. Because once the Neto. For the offensive rebound. That's what he does. He should take, yeah, he should do that with your rep, though. Because it may be. Stevenson, he split the defense. Royce O'Neal came up with the ball. And O'Neal really liked what Indiana, the Pacers, were all about. Now, you and I have been, been lucky enough to be here a long time. I mean, doing this. Donovan Mitchell was a baseball player as a kid and a soccer goalie. Sabonis. Good strong take off of that. This time to get to the rim. Corey Joseph is also back in, so the starting backcourt for the Pacers, Rubio. Shooting. Utah since the All-Star break, first in defensive scoring. Rubio missed it. Gobert, the offensive rebound. He was able to a real problem. No doubt about it. I watched Sabonis do a really good job keeping Gobert off that offensive glass, too. Oh, it shook him up. But then he shot it too strong. You could see it leave his hand too long. Fans started to, ah, Victor got caught in it a when, little bit. When you know, Gobert has eight. You gotta get out and set the screen. You, you re posting up is really not gonna help. Yeah, you gotta get out and set the screen. Ingles is open, and Ingles too strong. Watch Rubio coming to get it. You gotta go get the ball. You gotta come get the ball when, uh, when it's there. No Rubio, rebound. Rubio has nine. But Donovich is just gonna take it right at Ingles. Score. Just stay in front of him. I, I said this in Australia, he just makes plays. They've hit six threes. The Pacers 0 for 7. Oladipo clears space and scores. Again. Guarding Donovan Mitchell, too. But they, they have to get more size on him. Lob it up, go there. Screen comes from Turner. Oh, hooked his arm. Well, he felt comfortable about that. Hit five threes. Indiana 0 for 7. Mitchell's hit a couple from behind the arc. Now Crowder adds his name. This team has, the Jazz have 14 assists already. And that's a turnover. Rubio. When Ricky.
Mitchell, double figures in the first half with 10. You gotta stay disciplined. The when, yeah, and they're a different team when Rubio shoots it well. Gotta remember he's left-handed. You can see Derek favors. Two minutes gone by, third quarter, Utah in control. Oh boy. I wasn't sure how he was going to get a pass through that. But including uh, wins in Portland, San Antonio, New Orleans. Oladipo over the top of Gobert, and he has there might have, should have been Miles Turner. And he should have taken the shot. But you know who the best shooter is on the floor. Mitchell with Oladipo flying by. How about the pass by Rubio? He's trying to draw the foul. Pacers have a five on four. Joseph hits Indiana's first three. Jump. He just knows what he's doing. And there's great value in that. Too strong. And Turner with the offensive rebound. So this is one of those where they're one of 13. But they, they've been, like, see, uh, some of the sh shots here, Chris, are really being well challenged. You just got to keep, stay patient, knock down your shots. There's a Indiana trails by 11. It you was like a 10-point lead at the half for the Jazz. But I like this defensive possession. I mean, it, it, listen, sometimes... Pacers won by double figures. They led by as many as 20 in that one. Oladipo, the steal, picks it up. Oladipo all the way. The offensive rebound. And the Pacers will use clock. Oladipo goes right around Ingles and lays it in. Seven-point game. Mitchell open. That's Chris Crowder. The third quarter Monday to give the Pacers a four-point lead. And now he makes a bad pass to Ingles, and that's going to result in a basket for the Jazz. Yeah, got it in the air and had nowhere to go. Five seconds to play. Joseph, he'll get a look. Got to the basket and scores. Jonas Jurepko also in. Ingles lobs it up. And Gobert is there. It's been a couple of tough nights for Stevenson, actually. He's been so good at home here. Eight straight games in double figures. And Ingles, the bad course of the year. That reminds me of the January 10th game here. And that's Booker fouling. That? And they're going to count. Counting that. Yep. Remember that game. Indiana played from behind most of the way. Had an early lead. Miami led by. Brought him here to Utah. And uh, they've given him. He's a two-way guy. Can go up and down. Second round. Young missed his second round pick out of Iowa State. Young Pacers hit 14 of 26. Won by double figures and led by as many as 23. And that's with a left hand, Bogdanovich. It's been a difference maker in, in the game because it puts everybody under so much pressure. That shot got partially blocked. Gobert got it. Yeah, say, hey, he had 23. Well, he went to defend a shot. Miles has played well against Gobert with 19 of his own. Now, Miles has done fine. I mean, I think Miles has found some rhythm here. You remember star rookie of the year. The guys that are rookie of the year and, and in the running are all probably going to be stars. And Donovan Mitchell is one of them. These have been two good defensive teams throughout the year. And the Jazz defense has simply been better tonight than Indiana's as Rubio hits again. You know, Friday, but... This weekend, possibly Sunday or Tuesday, you could see Darren Collison back, and his team could use him. Well, sure, you want to get him back on the floor. I think you got to be careful. Can't make shots from the perimeter on Utah. They're hard to beat in a drive and kick situation. You got to make shots. And Jarepko, the three. When teams come in, they, that, that's what they do. Now the Pacers just have to regroup. Pacers scored 15 points in the fourth quarter. This was a 10 point game. The Jazz scored the first nine to lead by 19. It was not close after that. The Pacers still in fourth in the Eastern Conference, tied with Washington, but they own the tiebreaker because they have.